I've always kind of had the idea, um, I've always been very interested in fashion and the idea of fashion as something to express yourself. Um, and I just thought, you know, there's a lot of little things. People are very um, often scared of fashion. They think that it's something that's not very accessible. They think because you can't sew that you can't be able to, you know, create um, fashionable items. So my idea was really, you know, how do we make fashion accessible to kids? And I thought, you know, using recyclable materials, going to op shops, um, being able to use garments that had already been produced and altering them would be able to, you know, kind of allow kids to do this or so access fashion. I think each student has a different, uh, they display a different sort of idea and a different sort of part of their personality. And I'm, I'm always intrigued by that. Um, I always think there's a story behind it. And for me, um, the way they sort of translate that and create their garment kind of um, shows you their thinking process as well. So I, I really appreciate the journey. Um, and I think it's really special and I'm kind of, I feel privileged to be there, um, to be part of it and to help them out with that. Great. Where, where do you want to see the project grow from here? Um, I guess I'd like to sort of continue as we are. It's really early days, we've just started. Um, so I think in the future I'd like to see more um, exploration of different uh, textile techniques. Um, possibly, you know, maybe create a stall where some of the kids make some things maybe or things like that. Yeah, it's been amazing. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. Um, it's really good when you kind of see the final product and you kind of see how much the kids are engaged and really into it. Um, they're pretty happy. Um, by the end of it and you can kind of tell how much work has been done by all the mess and all the pins that we have to clean up by the end of the day. So.